you look at the modern world, despite all discouragement, most people believe that they've had telepathic experiences. And interestingly, the most common kind of telepathy in the modern world is precisely one that's grown up alongside technologies. In other words, telepathy connected with telephone calls. So many people tell stories of telephone telepathy that Dr. Sheldrake devised a test to see whether someone could predict who, out of four people, was calling them. The probability of being correct by guesswork alone was 25%. We've now completed a thousand of these trials, and the average success rate is 42%, which is hugely significant statistically. People certainly aren't right every time, um, but it's way above what you'd expect by chance. So, is telephone telepathy real, or is it just a figment of the imagination? We brought one of the most successful girl bands of the 80s to London to find out. The Nolan sisters are one of the closest families in showbiz. At the height of their fame, they spent months on the road together, and most of them still live within miles of each other. I'm Rupert Shelton. But how well will they do in the telephone telepathy test? No, could you tell me all your names in order, please? <laughs> yes. I'm Denise Nolan. I'm the most intelligent one here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Maureen. She's just Maureen. <laughs> Hi, I'm Linda, and Denise is a liar. <laughs> I'm Colleen. Colleen is the youngest, and I'm Anne. I'm the eldest. Why do you say that? Because I want you to say I look good at my age. Maybe you don't. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> <laughs> The first stage of the experiment is to decide which of the sisters will be the receiver. So four of you are going to stay here. One of you is going to go to the hotel and try and guess which of the others is phoning. So we've got to pick the person to do that. It's got to be Colleen. Colleen is nominated by her sisters because she's the youngest. And while she's driven a mile away to the other location, Dr Sheldrake allocates each of the other sisters a number between one and four. For each trial, a throw of the dice will determine who will be the caller. So we're going to start now with the first one. I'm going to throw the die. Two. There you are, Maureen. So you've only got two minutes. Maureen's first up, and the rest of the group must leave the room to allow her to focus. When the phone rings, Colleen will have to say who she thinks is calling before she picks up. <gasps> right. Maureen. Maureen. Yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> yes! Thank God for that. <laughs> Thank you. Lovely talking to you. Bye. Bye. I knew she'd get it. Yes. Bloody hell. But that could just be coincidence. Next up is Anne, the only sceptic among the sisters. Denise. No, you're wrong. With four sisters to choose from, if it's purely guesswork, Colleen should expect to be right 25% of the time by the end of the experiment. Think of your favourite sister. The most talented one. I'm not getting anything now. I don't want to be wrong. Linda. Linda. Yes! Yes! yes. 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 Good girl! <laughs> You're not oh, Thank you. Oh, bye Thanks bye. Thanks calling. Bye. bye. Yes! Halfway through, and Colleen is a long way ahead of the 25% expected by chance alone. Anne's number has come up four times, but for the previous three, Colleen has guessed wrong. Anne. Anne. Yes! Hooray! I knew you loved me, really. Three quarters of the way through, and Colleen's hit rate has reached over 40%. According to Dr. Sheldrake, this indicates there's more going on than simple guesswork. 
Maureen or Linda, I think. Linda. Linda. I'm so impressed. I'm scaring them now. They're backing out the room. They should never have gone in there with you, love. <gasps> Fantastic. Thank you. Bye. Wow. Colleen's final yeah. score is 50%, one of the highest of over 1,000 tests conducted by Dr. Sheldrake. Anyway, well done. I think that was great. Thank you. Thanks very much. I enjoyed it. Well done, that girl. Oh, cheers. cheers. Don't block my face. <laughs>